Hey, this is Ian, and we're in Fukuoka, Japan, and we're in Ohori Park right now. You kind of see the water out there, the lake, and I'm kind of in a little hidden secret spot here back in the woods. Um, little, little neighbors, some neighbors over there. But uh, I just saw some art. It's pretty cool. Um, so the other day, I just uh, I just got back yesterday from Korea. I did a little visa run there. I went there for like um, less than 24 hours just to renew my visa to Japan. And you know, I used to live in Korea. I lived in Korea from like the end of 2007 until 2010, about three and a half years. And um, I lived in Busan and Changwon. So, man, going going to Korea made me made me appreciate how much made me appreciate Japan even more. Uh, personally, I don't really like Korea. Um, you know why? Uh, it's just like compared to Japan, it's just like. Korea, Japan's like refined and it's like people are, are, are more polite. Um, it's not as dirty. Like Korea is dirtier. It's louder. People are louder. Stores are, you know, play loud music and stuff. It's kind of obnoxious. I think, I think generally speaking, like Koreans are kind of abrasive. Now, you might, you might be, of course, everybody's different, you know, um, but I'm speaking generally here and, you know, an awful lot of like, this sort of like an undercurrent of that, like in, in the culture amongst the people, uh, at least amongst many people. Like, for example, I was walking down the street, I see this older, older group of like gentlemen, probably in their fifties walking. I'm like, all right, this looks like the kind of person I remember. Like, so I like take a wide breath, walk out of the woods. It's like the dude just like, like went out of his way to like bump into me, you know? And I think like, that's just like common. Like they think like, what, they can run right through you? And it's just like, dude, I could tear you to pieces, you know? But it's just like, there's, there's, there's a lot of that. like. Older, older people, maybe like 60s, 50s, 60s, older, like, I don't know. There's like this like hierarchical thing where like, I don't know, they think they can get away with like pushing you around and stuff. You get on the subway, older people are going to push you, you know, that's just what they're going to do. They try to push you out of their way. They don't always use, the, use their hands or arms, although they could, but they'll just kind of push you like, it's like, this is, this is like normal, you know? Um, other thing, the smells, like I, I got all this stuff came back to me like instantly. I was in Korea for like an hour and by the time I was on the subway, I was just like, uh, yeah, I, I remember this, <laughs> why I don't like Korea. Um, yeah, the smell like, okay. So in Korea, what's the most popular Korean food? First thing that comes to your mind should be what? All right. So that's kimchi. And I can tell you what a lot of people have really bad breath because they eat kimchi. They have what's called kimchi breath. And uh, it's just like a lot of people. So you could ask for directions on the street and then, ah, wow, it's just like, you can tell they've been eating kimchi. It's just like this garlicky, stinky, stinky smell. Um, oh, there's a, see the worm? Hanging out there, inchworm. Gotta watch out, he's gonna get on me. Um, so yeah, it stinks. It's, or you go, you go in the subway and it smells like kimchi. And if you're there at nighttime, it smells like kimchi and soju. It's like the worst combination. Um, yeah, I don't know. People are kind of abrasive. Like, I feel like someone said this and I kind of agree. Like I, I read somewhere, someone said something like, oh, Koreans have like an anger complex. And you know what? I'm going to kind of agree with that. <laughs> like, again, it's like, maybe not everybody, but it's not a lot of people, you know, like just feel this seem kind of like and in Japan. It's like, man, I, I really feel like generally speaking, people are, like I said, very polite, very modest, 
very reserved and and uh, peaceful. You know, I generally feel like this is like a peaceful place. Korea, I feel like, yeah, more likely to get in some sort of fight or something just because people are so rude. Like, just, uh, yeah, like, like I said, they're not very mindful. And um, what else? Yeah, if, if people spit on the street. Spitting's common. You're not going to see that in Japan. I, you might, but it's very rare. Um, smells. People will piss in the streets. Like, uh, so you smell. You'll smell urine and stuff in some areas. Uh, in Japan, I haven't smelled any urine on the streets or anything. Of course, in the USA, in the cities, you're going to find that too. Uh, let me see. Did I forget anything here? I wrote a few things down to take some notes. <sighs> Actually, there's some ants here. I actually made a video the other night. Um, I spent the night in Japan or in Korea and Busan, and um, I made a video then. But I decided to make it sort of cover a couple other um, topics. Oh, another one: traffic. Like here in Japan, I feel like pretty safe. Like I feel like people are like really mindful. Like drivers are really mindful, really polite, really cur courteous to pedestrians. But in Korea, uh, uh not at all. I think drivers are like, you got to watch out for the drivers. So that's kind of like China too. China's like that too. Live there as well. So, um, yeah, but here, like, I feel like I'm kind of the wild one when I'm on my bike. Like, yeah, just people are, like I said, pretty mindful. Drivers are pretty mindful looking, looking out for you and stuff like that. But Korea, not at all. Um, so annoying things about Korea, uh, the noise, the smells, uh, pollution There's more like trash and stuff in the streets. Uh, it's dirtier and people, there's an awful lot of angry people there. It seems like, uh, people are more expressive, uh, less reserved, pushing, bumping. Yeah. Just less refined. There's more chaos in Korea than there is in Japan. Um, so that's that's why I like Japan better. The other thing too uh, I want to talk about, which like I think is kind of this, some kind of myth. Like the other thing too is generally speaking, I think Japan was actually slightly cheaper for like the cost of living as far as food and stuff goes compared to Korea. So I don't know if you're thinking about teaching English in one of these places, these are things you can look into like yeah you're gonna probably do financially better in Korea because you get all the benefits the free housing airfare that you don't get in Japan but as far as the like and you know what you might be the kind of person that likes Korea you know what I mean you might you might like that like some people don't like all the orders some people don't like all the uh, I don't know it just depends what you like you know it's kind of like Japan's kind of more like Switzerland and then maybe a place like Korea is more like um yeah i don't know southern southern europe like if japan is kind of like northern northern europe I'm not talking about like the english speaking countries but perhaps scandinavia or germany the netherlands switzerland um perhaps like those areas in some sense uh and then like korea's like i don't know i don't even know uh maybe southern italy or something like that but um don't don't take don't take my word for that but anyways it's just um yeah the other thing costs like everything seemed to cost slightly more in korea actually also like <clears throat> uh for here like i made another video about the cost i'll have to link to that about uh my monthly food expenses pretty much averaged out to be the exact same as when i lived in san francisco um and i shopped at Trader Joe's as spending basically the same amount there as I am here. So nothing for really, really costs anymore. A lot of things are actually slightly cheaper here than in the States. And, uh, um, yeah, I don't, the only thing I hear, like sometimes fruit can be a little bit more expensive, but I don't know if you buy stuff that's in season, it's not that expensive. And, but in Korea, like, wow, I was like in the, I went into, um, 
I was looking for food. Like I, I went back to Basan and Basan is like, that's where I used to live. And I was like, wow, everything's different. There's all this, a, lot of, a lot of different stores there. A lot of the restaurants, I was looking for some restaurants and they'd all like gone out of business or new, new ones are taken over because I lived there and yeah, a long time ago. So, um, but like, like what, what was I see? Cantaloupes. I saw a cantaloupe for like 11,000 won. It's like 11 bucks for a cantaloupe in Korea. Uh, a lot of fruit different fruits are really expensive so yeah it's kind of a myth that japan is so expensive i think i think it can be like you want to live in tokyo okay well you're gonna pay for it you know um but as far as like food and stuff goes here i don't really think so as far as rent goes i pay i pay yeah i, I definitely pay less than what i paid in san francisco um i made another video about that called uh i think how i'm living cheaply in fukuoka or something it talks about that so yeah i don't know that's my two cents on japan versus korea and um i don't know you want to teach i made some other videos about this too i can link to those um that more talk about more of the teaching aspect of that so if you think about teaching you can check those out and uh, that's pretty much my two cents. So have a good one. Yes, yes, so, so, insider.